Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you October 1st. First day of the final quarter of what could argue, arguably called uh, the most fucked up year uh, since, I don't know, 1919? End of World War One, a little bit of a pandemic back then. That was the year um, that globalization stopped and led to sort of the 20 year uh, screw job preceding World War Two. There's some symmetry, right? 100 years ago. Uh, 101, whatever, but I don't know, fucked up. That was fucked up. Uh, this year is fucked up. Yesterday was fucked up. Wow. We tried to be uh, short risk. That didn't work out too well, right? We were long Euro Aussie. Stopped. We were long dollars R. Stopped. We were short S&Ps, but not conviction short, but still stopped. Uh, and then we resold up in the 60s. Got taken out at 75 on that ridiculous move to 80, 84. Just silly. Anyway, new day today. Let's uh, take a fresh look at this. Dollar yen, first thing on the frontal lobe here. Still watching this. I don't even know why we're watching it. Dollar yen's been such a sort of shit show, really. But 40 now, uh, and then this line comes in at 35.5. Worth keeping an eye on. Um, just from a technical perspective, I have no idea why or what's driving dollar yen. But We were itching higher yesterday, 75 the high, but couldn't quite cope. And then, of course, the fix nonsense took us down to 40. Big dollar sell on the fix yesterday. Uh, now that's held for now, but we'll see. We're at 44. Let's see what this line does for us. On the equal and opposite side of that, sterling yen. This is driven by cable, of course. Uh, interesting tops here, 136.55. For those of you who are chart watchers, keep an eye on that. As you can imagine, the same type of chart has to be on the sterling side. 129.44. Yesterday's high. Well, 42.6 according to this. Um, is this going to open up to the very, very interesting sort of 130, 20, 130, 34 um, levels? Kind of got to wonder if people are drawing this very simplistic line. kind of looks like cable is going to go higher uh, and it kind of feeds into the whole sort of general dollar sell um, that's brewing out there. We talked about it on Monday about how it's time to um, start selling dollars again. Euro worked out, dollar yen's been a dick in a box, but cable, which we haven't really played, uh, has been has been very bid. Let's look at dollars are. What the hell happened there yesterday? Oh my bloody mercy of God. That was like a menstrual cycle gone wrong. Um, wow. Did not expect uh, to trade 62 in dollars are. Low here says 64, but 
could have sworn we were like near 60. Anyway, stopped out obviously of our longs in dollars R and now just scratching our heads going, what the hell is going on here? Uh, I guess dollar sales have overcome czar sales obviously. Uh, we're afraid to own czar just because of the shape the country's in and the future that we see there is very 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 bleak um, but man that was a big big down day yesterday end of quarter end of month uh, what we thought were going to be big czar sales turned out to be big czar buys shows, shows how much we know anyway moving on Euro Aussie same thing made a new high on the dailies um, up above 165 but then closed at 163.60 how you like them apples uh, could we have been any more wrong not really uh, so in that sense it was epic epically wrong um, man what a migraine Ironically, it should be like support down here. Um, and this is kind of what happens. Conviction longs get smoked. Then there's consolidation. And then it goes higher. But uh, we're square Euro Aussie for now. Dollar CAD. Same chart. Bearish engulfed, right? Could not get above that 134.20 area. Bang. Smoking the crack pipe. That is just how you left Houdini. Uh, crude did go higher. Big, big dollar sell uh, at the quarter end. Just smoked. Riding the white pony. Interesting lows, uh, technically speaking, 132.83. Kind of think that that shit's going to be in play. Uh, we will not reach and sell. Uh, we will not momentum sell this to 83. Um, just a bit stretched uh, on the short time frame. So we're just going to sit and watch. Kind of a wound licking day. Um, gold didn't really do much, right? So it was up, up to 08, down to 90. Here we are at 97. Shit's still bid. Uh, haven't really had a, too much of a sniff back at that interesting uh, 1879 level. So bulls are in control. This is probably going to grind higher gold. Bonds smashed. If I were a bond, I'd sell myself. This has worked out, which is nice. Um, but still waiting for us to break down through this uh, 174.20 level. We got to uh, 175.13. Of course, short bonds. Uh, we've said it once. We'll say it again. This is this is a very important trade, which is about to happen. Uh, we like short fixed income. Bitcoin, not doing anything, 10,800, and all of the uh, dollar nonsense yesterday and the stock nonsense, uh, stocks down 60 handles and up 80 handles, uh, Bitcoin, not doing anything. Today, the focus is uh, on sterling. Are we going to continue to pop higher? <laughs> kind of looks like it. Uh, so we like sterling higher, especially if we can get up through this sort of 129.45 area. Sterling yen, interesting, also uh, 136.55. And less so, <clears throat> but just from a technical perspective, we will be watching this uh, 105.35 in dollar yen. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.